Alright guys, what is up? My name is Toonlink Tech and today I'll be talking about the new update in Windows 10. To start off, if you haven't watched my first video of Windows 10, you should go watch it. As uh, some of that stuff covers the stuff I won't be covering in this video. Well, to start off, I bet you're all wondering, what happened to Project Spartan? They've changed it. It's not called Project Spartan anymore, it's called Microsoft Edge. It's the exact same thing as Project Spartan, it's just pretty much with a new name and a few new features that I don't really care about. You can share a web page, which is, I don't even know if I need that. Yeah, it brings up the share dialog. You can share it on Facebook and stuff, all that shit. Well, and also here, your menu. You, they've added some new settings. You can choose a theme, light or dark. Dark is good if you're like at night, sitting in the bed, re reviewing websites and stuff. You can also, there's also advanced settings. You can enable or disable flash player, block pop ups, show the home button, which is like right there, just shows your home page. You can, it can offer to save your passwords, which is useful. Say so, like you have this really long ass password and you can't even remember it, but the same thing, at the same time it's kinda of bad if this is, if you're using this like if you're sharing a computer or a tablet, it's kind of a bad thing. Cause then they could go on your Facebook and post weird shit of you, like yeah. You can have Cortana help you, you can send do not track requests, you can save form entries, and you can change your default search engine. You show this. And also you can block cookies if you want, third party cookies, which that's not really important. You can use page prediction to help speed up your browsing and make your experience better. You can help protect yourself from malicious sites and downloads with a smart screen filter, which is good. And then there's not much else to talk about other than the make a web note feature, which is cool. Say like you see something really interesting on the on the internet, like maybe, um, or you just want to write on the web page and doodle. Let's just say, uh, hi, like that. You could just do like that. If you don't like it, you could erase some of it, like that. You can even change the color of your pen or marker or whatever this is. Anyways, there we go. Now it says hi. And also you can draw, pick, you can draw stuff, you can make comments, so you can leave a note here, like, you can set, remember to install ad blocker, and there you go. You can leave a note there, remind yourself to install ad blocker, and put it maybe on top of the ad. So remember to install ad blocker. And you can draw all over the way. Like see there's something you like that stands out, like maybe um like maybe uh Facebook, you can highlight it. Or I don't know, uh Skype, you can highlight that. And then you can also clip something from the web page. Let me try it out. Uh, I'm gonna try that out actually. You can like clip a part like that and it copies it to your clipboard. Which you can use for later pasting wherever your little heart desires. Well that's pretty much it for that. Now to talk about some of the more other features of Windows 10 such as the notification center which is and also some quick settings which are collapsed by default a lot of notifications apparently I have a lot of three notifications about get insider builds that they need attention well that's not important here you can do your quick settings you can adjust your Wi-Fi settings 
the battery saver, which I can't because I'm plugged in right now. As you can see by the little plug, you can make a you can write a quick note off of one note, which I'm not gonna get into that because I don't feel I need to get into that. And then uh, also there's other things in the action center, and also say they used to have it hide notifications. You can it's changed to turn on quiet hours. That way notifications come in they won't disturb you it's similar to um, do not disturb on uh, Google Chrome it is similar to that and also another cool thing is Cortana they actually fixed it I'm just gonna close it and I'm gonna say hey Cortana how are you doing today Great, thanks. And it works. Isn't it great? It works now. Let's, let's ask something else. Hey, Cortana, what are you up to right now? Taking it all one question at a time. I, it's great. It works now. It's just actually nice. It actually, the voice works pretty good so far. Asking it these phrases. It's detected my voice quite nicely. I haven't really tuned it to my voice yet, so that's kind of a good thing. Well, anyways, that's going to be it for Cortana for now. Alright, one more thing. can also show you some of this stuff, similar to Google Now. It shows you, like, cards, but stuff that's going on. Yeah. And then also in Windows 10, the settings app. The settings app has really has changed a bit. Well, apparently the Explorer crashed. I guess that's one more reason maybe you shouldn't get a technical preview, because it's filled with bugs. And uh, the settings app has been redesigned a bit. It's a little bit more flat. I kind of don't like that, because I kind of like things when they're a bit colorful. I kind of like a balance. You can adjust even more settings now multitasking which yeah you can do like that similar to how in Windows 7 you can do arrow snap or like that kind of yeah which is great and you can just have virtual desktops which is good it's similar to a feature in Linux you can have tablet mode which um, I'm on a laptop so I'm gonna leave that off battery saver I can't use that now because it's charging. It's charging. Yeah. You can adjust your power settings too. And then, yeah. They have other settings like Bluetooth, printers and scanners. Right now, my Bluetooth is off. You can adjust your mouse. You can just autoplay and stuff. I'm not going to get too deep into those. Let's see how long this video has been going for. About nine minutes. Alright. Well, and also they've they've changed up the task bar a bit. There used to be a blur behind it, where the background behind it was blurred, but now it's just regular. However, the start menu, it still does the blur like always. And a cool new thing is well, I haven't really changed anything new on this. If you click on some of this stuff, it opens a little thing like this now. Which in Windows 8, it just pops up a little ugly thing. And also, when you click on your internet, your networks, it just shows this. Instead of having a whole thing come in from the side and block off like a bit of your screen. You know, this just comes up. It even has some toggles, which is nice. And here, 
you click here it shows your battery level and then you can adjust your brightness you're just great I don't know why it makes that sound every time I close it well and also you can view your task view which shows all of your open windows and yeah that's pretty much gonna be it for this video anyways thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that like button and if you want to keep up to date with all my latest content be sure to hit that subscribe button anyways this is your man Toon Link Tech signing off